Ernest Rutherford's a fantastic Kiwi, and as a Kiwi, I'm really thrilled to uh, be part of the lineage of uh, New Zealand-based people who are interested in physics. And a uh, really clever guy, uh, born in the northern end of the South Island in the late 1800s, and come from a rural background and just kept going, and nobody told him where to stop. The new model of the atom was discovered in the early 20th century by Ernest Rutherford, Ernest Marsden, and Hans Geiger when they carried out their famous gold foil experiment. It was only thanks to their work that we have this really clear picture of what an atom looks like. And I think that's really exciting. Whenever you're producing a new theory, you've often got a lot of people that are doubting your theory or sticking, up, sticking with the old ways, and you really have to try and forge a path for yourself. And by all accounts, he was brilliant at what he did. I think Rutherford thought outside the box and that's all what science is about. It's starting thinking about new theories, getting new data, and other people being able to use those principles and apply them to other things. The great success of Rutherford, I think, is not just in the research that he did, but in building an incredible team around him. And it's that incredible team and the legacy of, of that school of physics that is really the great legacy of Rutherford that, that went on to produce the immense results that, that we rest on today.